Ted C. Yuba here, welcoming you to the sub four minute extra mile. In less than four minutes, you do what your competitors can't be bothered to do. Yes, Achiever, you're doing what it takes. One of the things that always fascinates me and that I take every advantage that I can when I'm in a country or a place that has one is lighthouses. I, I love climbing the steps, you know, whether they circle, 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 or whether they're, you know, planked back up like that. I love, I love the openness. There's always an openness inside. And it's, it, it's always so strong and sturdy, made of rock and brick. And it's always, everyone I've ever been in, circular or, you know, in certain angle. I mean, it had a circular design. And, it, and it's always very, very high. And it's always seemed, now this could be an error on my part, but it's always seemed like it was, it always gets so windy. I know it has on a lot of them because I have been terrified. I have been hanging on to the edge, flying sideways, and I, I don't know where they are right now, or I'd put them in this little video clip, but I've got pictures of me hanging sideways in Bermuda in uh, one of the lighthouses that climbed up there with some friends. And you know, it occurred to me, that that lighthouse is there to take any storm. Oh, what are we talking about? It's there to be the safety and the light in the storm. The light in the storm. And it's designed to handle those massively powerful high winds and those turbulent waters crashing up against the shores. And the crack and the pow of lightning and thunder. That's what it's designed to do. And it does. <laughs> I've never been in a new modern lighthouse. By the way, they've all had years on them. Most of them are still working. That light is so intense. Ooh, in the nighttime, if you can get close, that light is so hot. Now, it's hot in the daytime, too. It's just it's got other characteristics like being brilliant. And it occurs to me, most people will let their opinions change. And most people will not do something because they're afraid of what people will think of them. We call that letting the ego get in the way. We call that lack of self-confidence. It is actually true. In fact, I don't want to ask you to do too much of a reality check, or you might likely find some of that in yourself. Although you are doing and you're listening to, and this particular message will help you break that. You need to be so strong in your definiteness of purpose in your definite chief aim, in the character and quality and contribution and manner of contribution of your life, of the things that you've decided, you as a human being have decided are right for you. You as a human being have tucked into, have divin into, have meditated, have found out from your inner self and your inner intuition, your inner eagle, who you are and what you are to do, how you are to contribute. When you live like that, you'll be like the lighthouse. People ask, how can you make decisions so rapidly? That's well, real easy. I already know every single outcome I want. I already know every, the direction I'm on. I know if something will detract or will facilitate. It's that simple. I mean, look, when it's that simple, you don't need to get out an Excel spreadsheet. You just make the decision. And when you're that firm, when you know, and when you can stand through any storm, any temptation, any cajoling, any social pressure, any madness in the society at large passes through. You are the lighthouse. You are the lighthouse. You are strong and firm. And you are indeed a benefit for those lost souls who are looking, looking for your help. Ted C. You be your host on the sub four minute extra mile saying go achiever. You are doing what it takes. Mm -hmm.